Hey guys, welcome to part two video of login sign up application using Firebase authentication. So hope you have already watched my previous video, and in this video I'll show you the main part of the application that is linking your Firebase with your application. And so for this you need to go to Tool and then click on the authentication from the right side and click on Email authentication and click on Connect to Firebase and your uh, browser will automatically be open and you need to give your user id and password here and just proceed with allow and then you, you can see that success is there now just go back to your android window and you can see this type of window just proceed with the blue button and it will take some time because it will add some dependencies on your android studio so now go to your browser again click on get started and you can see the project of login sample that is your application name and now go to your browser again and click on uh, authentication here and from the authentication click on the sign in method just enable the email password and google and ok so now here the main thing is done now just go to your Android Studio again and click on the add Firebase authentication to your app and it will add some dependencies or libraries to your Android application Gradle file and here you can see all the uh, Firebase assistant tools there and so now you need to go to your manifest file and you can see that in there the main activity will load first so now I'm start writing my code inside the main activity that is private firebase auth and the variable name is m auth and then private firebase auth dot auth state listener and the variable name that is m auth listener okay so inside the onCreate method just write mauth uh, equals to firebase.get instance and mauth listener equals to new firebase auth dot get instance uh, sorry dot auth state listener and here you need to uh, write override a method that is on auth state changed and inside the inside that method you need to write firebase instance sorry firebase uh, user and the variable name that is user equals to firebase auth dot get current user and it will get the user and it will check the user is logged in or not and then just write if the user not equals to null then just uh, toast a message like welcome user get email and dot toast and the link is short and dot show and whenever uh, a user will register there in your application the email id will show after opening the app and then now intent intent equals to new intent and here you need to declare the get application context and then user place dot plus so now you have to uh, create a activity that is user place dot plus because it will uh, proceed after logging in into your account or after registering and then logging into your account so here is your here is your activity user page dot xml file and i am not designing this activity that much and i am just uh, considering the layout height as web content and uh, uh, these things will come out uh, oh sorry i have not change the constant layout into linear layout so uh, just change that and 
after that just fix these things I just wanted to show that uh, the email ID of the user and then a button that will uh, work for logout and obviously the orientation will be vertical for the root layer tag so in the second button on the on click just click on logout to logout your account from the application and the text view size will be for TSP so now go to your uh, main activity dot plus and just inside the if statement just write intent dot put extra and inside the just write email dot user dot get email and then start activity intent and then finish and in the else word just uh, copy this that uh, toast message and just uh, delete that and inside quotation just write uh, please login or something okay so uh, after the on create method just override a uh, method that is on start and after the super dot on start that will uh, be loaded in by default just write in auth dot remove auth state listener and pass the uh, argument that is uh, m or state listener and after that just override another function that is uh, on stop and after the on stop uh, super dot on stop just write m or dot remove or state listener and pass the argument that is m or state okay now you to uh, declare the fun uh, method that is signing that you have declared uh, inside your layout file you know, on on click attribute and inside the sign in method just write string mail and type post it and then find vivo id and then add dot id dot email that you have given in your layout file and then dot get text and you need to put it inside bracket and there is another bracket and then dot to string it will convert the whole text into string and stored into uh, mail uh, email string and also the as well as uh, uh, PAWS string it will load the password into it and then m auth dot sign with email and password that is the function of firebase and uh, just um, pass the two parameters that you have declared just right now that is email comma pass and then dot add on complete listener and it will be overridden on the on read method and here just write if task dot is successful just uh, copy the toast message and, and just pin that login successful and else if the password is not correct just write enter email or password correctly okay so now go to your user underscore rage registration uh, class file that you have created earlier now inside the class before the on get method just write firebase private firebase m auth and inside the on create method just write m auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance so whenever the you click on the sign in sign up button uh, the activity will go to user underscore rage the class so on inside the user underscore rage dot class the activity underscore user underscore rage dot xml will be loaded so now here you have declared inside for the uh, user regexml file the registered user button on the on click attribute so uh, just declare the registered user method here 
that is uh, inside it final string and name edit text find view by id id is in underscore name and then get text and dot to string and it will convert the whole text into string and assign it into the string named name and also on the email and password and for the password it will be on TAWS and so after these three items just uh, write final uh, auth result and it will be on array format and then result equals to new auth result and just write one okay so uh, after it uh, just write m auth dot create user with email and password and pass those three parameters sorry two parameters and just write uh, in add on complete listener and then new on complete listener auth result and it will be over here uh, inside the under the method that is uh, on complete and i'm copying and pasting the whole if and else part of my main activity and just uh, if the task is su successful i am creating a activity that is uh, main activity so inside the intent just write get application context that is your current activity and then where you have to go that is main activity dot class and then just write finish okay so in the else part just uh, write uh, a toast message that is unsuccessful if anything failures occurs there so after that uh, register user method just uh, override a function that is uh, override the method that is on backpress whenever the you backpress on your register here and it will go on to your main activity so now uh, go to your user page that will load after your logging into your account in your application so insert the uh, on care method just write intent intent equals to get intent and string email equals to intent dot get string extra and uh, you will get this email from the main activity dot class file and here no, where you have given that put extra on there so now the slide takes view find view by id r dot id dot email and dot set text email and whenever the user logging into your account uh, login using their account the name name will be shown there and uh, here i need to declare another method for logout because i have created a button named logout so inside logout just write firebase auth and their firebase auth get instance and auth.sign out and then start activity and then start the main activity okay now click on finish so now everything is done now just uh, go to your run button and check your application if it is working or not so uh, you can see so I am first uh, creating an account inside it just uh, go to the register uh, window and naming the name as test test and the email id as test at the rest at the test mail sorry test.com and keeping the password as test123 and you can also hide the password in the edit text uh, because uh, i have not uh, done that so your registration is complete now go to your login here dot, uh, activity just uh, try to login using your details and i'm first uh, giving the wrong details here so click on the sign in so you can see the toast message that is uh, written was entered correctly so now i'm going to add three and click on sign in so you can see that login successful toast message is there 
so now uh, just clear the window and it is too much laggy in android virtual machine okay so now if again uh, check the login and giving the same correct password that is test one two three and click on sign in sorry here I have given a space there before com so click on sign in so you can see that post message that is low the uh, login successful so now you can check that user details on your firebase that is here so now in this way you can perform this operation thank you for watching